And now, your Precision 18 forecast. News 18. Weather from where you live. Single digit temperatures as those kids head back to the school. We have school delays running across the bottom of our screen and on WLFI.com. That's because temperatures are anywhere between 1 degree in Rensselaer to 5 degrees in Crawfordsville. But also, we're dealing with wind chills in the negative teens right now as well. Wind sustained from the west northwest, right around 10 to 15 miles per hour, dropping wind chills to negative 14 in Kokomo, 13 below in Rensselaer. It feels like 8 below in Crawfordsville. And you could see traffic on Sagamore Parkway rolling along, but looking close enough, you can see that nice sheen across the roads. That's your ice. Slick conditions throughout much of the viewing area as well. Please remember to travel safely, giving yourself a few extra minutes to get to wherever you are headed this morning. We remain dry this morning and early afternoon, but that will not be the case later on this evening as well as well. Two degrees currently in West Lafayette. Look at the winds from the northwest, 10 miles per hour. That current wind chill negative 14. So we stay dry during the morning hours, the early afternoon. We turn our attention to our next round of winter weather, and this is going to be a big one, folks. A low pressure system now sitting off across the northwestern Great Plains and upper northwest that will continue to drag further off to the southeast over the next 24 hours. As that occurs, it should begin to enter our region right around 8 to 9 p.m. later on today. We'll first begin to see flurries and then the heavy stuff moves in overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning. Let's check out your precision future cast. Check this out. Mainly clear skies throughout much of the morning, the early afternoon. High pressure right now will continue to keep things clear. That cloud cover moves in right around the early afternoon hours into the evening. Eventually, that snowfall moves in as well. You see, this is right around 9 p.m. You see the light snowfall making its way into the far southwestern portion of the viewing area area intensifying overnight tonight into tomorrow morning, then exiting the region early tomorrow morning. You can see all the winter weather advisories, winter storm warnings across parts of the Great Plains, the Midwest, and here we are smack dab in the middle lasting through tomorrow morning because not only are we expecting plenty of snowfall, but winds are expected to pick up tomorrow as well, blowing and drifting snow throughout the viewing area. Here's exactly what we're expecting over the next 24 to 36 hours. Anywhere from 2 to 4 inches in our far southwestern portion of the viewing area, including parts of Fountain, Warren, Montgomery counties, and Crawfordsville. You go a little bit further to the north, right around four to six inches. Fowler, Lafayette, Kokomo. Lafayette pretty much good and primed for four and a half, possibly five inches of snow by tomorrow. Further off to the north, possibly six plus inches, maybe as much as seven inches of snowfall for a far northeastern portion of the viewing area expected by tomorrow afternoon. With the passing low pressure system, temperatures are actually expected to rise over the next 24 hours. In fact, we'll be reaching temperatures of 13 by 5 p.m., warming up to around 14 degrees. That'll be the warmest temperature we see today, hitting 18 by early tomorrow morning as that snow exits the region and as we begin to see some of those skies clear up we'll be reaching a high temperature right around 20 degrees for tomorrow but as I mentioned before winds will be picking up on the back edge of the system ushering in a much cooler and drier air mass into the viewing area that will then plummet temperatures after we hit that high of 20 tomorrow the winds pick up we're looking at wind gusts as high as 25 miles per hour dropping temperatures back down to 6 degrees late Tuesday and early Wednesday will continually fall back down to negative 12 by late Wednesday, early Thursday morning. At that point, those 25 to 30 mile per hour wind gusts could drop temperatures or at least wind chills as low as negative 30 throughout the viewing area. So frigid, super chilled Arctic air makes its way into the region by late Wednesday, early Thursday, just in time for another slight chance of flurries head on our way by Thursday afternoon. 14, your high temperature that day. And, you know, looking at those overnight lows, that negative 12, that is not just what it's going to feel like. No, that's, that's the, actual the actual air temperature. temperature. That is the actual air temperature. We had those wind chills this morning, negative 15 or negative 14, negative 13 throughout the viewing area. That negative 12 on the seven day forecast is the actual air temperature with wind chills as low as negative 30. It's, it's wow. just like last year. It's like, I, it's what I think it's what we're all thinking. Just right? last, summer, well, last winter was We've awesome. been last very summer. privileged with the December that we had. It yeah. was mild. We had the rain, yes, but and the cloud cover it was gloomy, but at least we had the mild temperatures. That is all changing. Yeah. Uh, over the next 24 to 36 hours. New year, new weather. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Straight ahead, Elvis is.